and the winner of the Eurovision 2023 is the reaction I'm going to do to the French entry. Evidentment in English means obviously and obviously Lazara has come, as, come across with a song that is encompasses everything this woman is. I'll give you as always a little bit of bio about Francis representative who shall represent her country France this year but there'll be a few facts that we need to know to make up the persona the image that you will see in the Eurovision she's classy she's beautiful she writes her own songs she's very successful in French speaking countries and in Canada as well especially Quebec and all over the world now is going to go oh, Wow, they pulled it out of the bag after many years. Yes, France is definitely, in my opinion, the number one song to compete against. And the number one song, in my estimation, deserves to win. Look, if we look at the Eurovision at the moment, is there really the interest there was years ago? That's what I'm asking myself. I look at countries like Croatia for example there's a lot of controversy about how bad that song was it was awful yet Croatia in my opinion is the eighth wonder of the world it's a very beautiful country full of beautiful people and when I visited many a time I had a little logo an Irish uh, flag here and people were like oh you're from Ireland la 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 and my my drink they they would pour more drink into my drink and i had a fabulous time in croatia i don't believe that the people voted for that song and i think it's so bad that the people in croatia who were involved with the television program all of them ought to be it's a bit like what happened in ukraine and the winners that represented the ukraine they went to a judge and they said i don't believe in the voting i don't i believe that you were influenced with another artist and there was a whole controversy i believe the same in croatia happened because i don't believe the people of croatia voted for that song something is wrong it's like almost a disinterest in holding the competition because it costs a lot of money but france has come with lazara and they're proving that they want to win it and they're going to win it I am so delighted we're introducing an artist of worth like this woman. She's everything. A couple of weeks ago, my partner said, have you heard of Lazara? And I said, no, come and see the video. So I looked at his um, reaction to one of her previous videos. I was blown away and I have looked at some of her previous releases. She is phenomenal. She's funny. She's like the Hollywood actress from a bygone area. Marilyn Monroe springs to mind. And she, Marilyn was one of Lazara's influences growing up. But we'll get to know more about the woman herself now. Who is this enigmatic artist who seems to have come straight from another era with hips and energy and an aura about her of the 40s? Her name is Lazara. And she asserts everything without concessions. She's a dazzling freedom, proud, touching. She emerges from a great Hollywood classic with the stubborn independence of great voices without moorings. The classy and flashy style of Audrey Hepburn springs to mind and of Marilyn Monroe, with the sense of tragedy of Edith Piaf in her voice. The postmodern modern intoxication of Lady Gaga and you mix it all together you have the naked frankness of Barbara and the fragility of the leader all in one person trust me she's all of those people and more Lazara always dares to go further sensual obviously while playing on the enigmas of the mysterious heart modern vintage all at once but without copying any model she's individually uniquely unique She's always eager for strength and elegance in her performances and her delivery of her songs. In her childhood in Canada, she dreamt of the fashions of France and living in France and songs and singing in French. 
and discovering the oriental voices that one listens to in a family of Moroccan origin. Because she's Moroccan origin, I have attached everybody Fauzia, who is a Canadian, who is also Moroccan roots, and a French song she has sung recently. And I put a video of flowers to it because there was no visual and I felt it deserved that. So check that out on my channel. And if you like Lazara, you're going to love Fauzia as well. And you'll become a big fan of Fauzia's too. So I've done you a favor today. It continues about Lazara. She writes very, very early pr prelude to her songs, which speak about her, her sharp confessions. Categorically, it's about her feelings and the warmth and distinguished voice that she has delivers them in such a way it leaves you going whoa whoa as you're going to find out now her hopes and also her sufferings come through her performances her delivery what she's about she's sensual she's not just beautiful but she's crafted what we're going to look at is a piece of french art crafted from childhood memories of the 40s influences of celine dion and all the great singers and wanting to be there up on stage in front of a world audience delivering what she does best and what she does best everybody is delivering a song of eurovision 2023 that i'm telling you i'm going to say in advance is going to win the competition take a listen and see if you agree after i'll give you a breakdown of the lyrics Mon cœur, mes mains, mes yeux, mes reins, plus rien ne m'appartient. Je me fais du mal pour faire du bien. Je m'oublie comme si ce n'était rien. Dans mon jardin d'enfer pousse des fleurs que j'arrose de mes rêves, de mes pleurs. On a beau être sur le toit. Évidemment, toutes ces belles promesses que j'entends, ce n'est que du vent. Évidemment, car après le beau temps vient la pluie, c'est ce qu'on oublie. C'est toujours trop beau pour être vrai, mais ce n'est jamais trop. Demain, je rachète hier, le temps est un assassin. Je cherche l'amour, je ne trouve rien, comme dans mon sac à main. Dans ma tête, ce n'est pas tant évident, je cherche la vérité tout le temps, l'évident. Mais ce que j'entends, ce n'est que du vent, évidemment. Elle ne sera plus jamais la mère, cette fille d'avant. Car moi je chante, ma vie la poterait un peu de romance. Je suis une devant vous, donnez-moi donc une chance de vous à moi, de moi. Vous et je réussis à chanter. À chanter la grande France. C'est toujours faux, faux, ou être vrai, mais c'est jamais trop. Now, I have to say, that is far too short to be the winning song, but it is. It's the winning song. 
and I guarantee when she stands on stage and the light hits her, it's going to be a moment from a couple of years ago when the bearded lady sang Rise Like a Phoenix. It's not as dramatic as Rise Like a Phoenix, but the delivery, the persona that is Lazara will carry that song through and it's an upbeat that will get the audience moving in the audience. When you have paid a lot of money to go to Eurovision, you want to be in the, an audience and you want to listen to performances that uplift you emotionally. The words do this as we will discover now in the lyrics, but most of all, the performance of music is classy. It's exactly what pop music can be if it's brought to Lazara's level. Lazara has set the standard France has set the standard this year, and I don't think anybody's going to pass Lazara. I have to say, in fairness, I'm going to do a reaction to Ireland's song because I'm Irish, and for the first time, I'm quite confident that Ireland will be in the top five. I don't think it will win. I think when you've won so many, many times, it's almost like the judges around the world or, or the voters, they kind of go for an artist that's different a country that's different but france has won it quite a few times and they deserve to win it with that that was worth waiting for i am so happy for her because i know this is the platform of millions of people around the world that will come to love the performer and her videos have already got millions of views on youtube but i guarantee after eurovision she is going to go into the stratosphere and people are going to want a piece of her and want to interview her. She's going to get unprecedented amount of attention, unseen since, I'm trying to think again, the bearded lady from Israel, I can't think of the artist's name at the moment, I'm sorry, who sang Rise Like a Phoenix. I think not since then are we going to get so excited about an artist. She's a lot more to offer and Eurovision is just a stepping stone to make her global. Congratulations Lazara, absolutely. Merci beaucoup France as a country. Vive la France because we needed a song that was here and all the other artists had to achieve that standard and France has set it. And I'm delighted because after watching Croatia, I was thinking, wow, nobody's interested in Eurovision anymore. But Lazara has proved we are. So congratulations. I really enjoyed the performance. When it comes to the lyrics, it's, it starts. My heart, my hands, my eyes, my kidneys. Nothing belongs to me anymore. I hurt myself for doing good. I forgot as if it was nothing. And it continues, in my hell garden grows flowers that I water my dreams with my tears. So every aching part of it, the song is about a tragic loss, a tragic feeling of when you're in shock, when you're in pain, when you are just trying to deal with the breakup of an emotional attachment you've had to somebody. It doesn't have to be that you're in love, but it's about love. And the physical and poetic way that Lazara has put in the lyrics that I water my dreams with tears. How many people like you and me have cried and cried and cried? We had dreams of living with this person, having a future with somebody we loved, and then suddenly it broke up. And you cry and cry. So it's a beautiful expression. The dreams are covered in your tears. So it's a powerful song and delivery. It continues, we may be on top of the world. You can't touch the sky with your finger. Obviously, all these beautiful promises that I hear, it's only wind. When it, again, it refers to wind, we often hear the expression, voices in the wind. We do. But when we think about, and that has been said in many novels, many songs, voices of the winds, but they're the voices in your head. The voices that say, don't ring them, don't talk to them, move on, you have two feet, move forward. But the voices, you almost hear them around you going, call them, you're missing them, they love you. You convince yourself, they, 
that they should be in your life, the person that's hurt you so badly. So it continues, obviously, because after the good weather comes the rain. That's what we forget, which is true, which means after a breakup, we're calm, we're in shock, we, our body keeps us almost in a box, but then your emotions, your mind, your thoughts, your disappointments, it's like a thunderstorm of rain. You just break down and cry and it all comes out. So it's a great description of what happens after and what you go through, what your body goes through mentally and physically. And it continues, it's always good to be true, but it's never too ugly to be fake, which is about life, which is about the situation that you convince yourself it's going to get better. You convince yourself that person and you will get back together. You just are convinced things will turn around, but it's fake, obviously. She'll never be the same, that girl before. No, you become two different people. The person that was, oh, oh I love you. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh. <laughs> to the person that's thinking, going, why did I allow that to happen? Good God, I'm never going to allow that to happen again. So it continues, I'll sell tomorrow, i buy yesterday. It's almost like you don't want to know what's in the future, but you'd rather have a piece of your happiness from before. And it says, time is a killer. I'm looking for love. I find nothing, like in my purse. You know, it's all of it's very poetic, all of it's very descriptive, but very true to life. That you go looking for love. You convince yourself, okay, I'm going through a lot of pain. I will find somebody else. I'll move forward. But sometimes we run out of energy, the physical, the mental energy, the want, the desire to do it. It's like an empty purse. And money, they always say money will never buy you happiness. So in reference to the purse, it's about money will never buy you happiness. It's true. You can go on holidays, you can buy nice clothes, you can look fantastic. Everything is amazing. But when it breaks, all that money spent on looking good for that person, looking good because you felt good, was a waste. It's like an empty purse. So it says, in my head, it's not so obvious. I seek the truth, it continues, while avoiding it. We may be on top of the world, it continues. You can't touch the sky with your finger, obviously. All these beautiful promises that I hear, it's only wind. So now it's in the, in the song, it's reconciliation. She started to accept that all the false promises she heard, everything in the relationship, it's about moving on. It's about learning from her mistakes of the heart obviously but she'll never be same that it continues and repeats the same as before but you'll never be same that again the girl before you don't you become a different person because I sing it continues my life is yours and a little romance I'm naked in front of you so give me a chance in other words when she talks about being naked she stripped off everything that she thought emotionally would make a relationship work so now she's willing almost in her mind through her grief she said I'm stripped of emotion I'm in shock I'm willing to give whatever it takes to make to get another chance because you go up and down when a relationship breaks and it continues from you to me from me to you I did manage to sing to sing the great France when she refers to that that's the statement about France itself as a country. When we think of Italy in Ireland, when we think of France, we think of two places in the world that are both extraordinarily beautiful, full of historical wonderment in uh, monuments, the country itself, history. But we think of a more, we think of love, we think of passion, we think of the food, we think of everything. The great France. And she's in the great France. She's learnt the language. She's learnt the culture. She's embraced it from a child. And at the end of the day, she's realised French people, French culture, is like anywhere else in the world. When you're hurting, when the relationship is broken, it's broken. And when you hurt, you hurt like... And French people hurt like anybody else in the world. 
So the illusion of love about Fra France is now the great France. Is it as great as it was? We shall continue to the last verse. It's still too good to be true, but it's never too ugly to be fake. In other words, to, to find love and accept love and embrace love, sometimes you ask the question, do you ever find it? Will it last? So many questions. Is it fake? Is it real? You question everything about love when it's when it's hurt you so bad. Obviously, she, you know, comes into it. She wouldn't be anymore, never the same, that girl before. And you're never the same when love breaks. But you become a stronger person. What I'd say to everybody is, if you're in that situation, turn your life around. Believe I can and I will change my life and find love. So that's my interpretation and my introduction to France's winning song for Eurovision 2023. Like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.